Hello, hunters. I'm Ruby. There have been many expectations and theories about Caleb being a love interest in the future. I want to clarify some of the misunderstandings about Caleb that I have seen often since the beginning of the game release, as well as share some context. Unfortunately, some contexts are difficult to notice, or just were missing after translation. Let me put the most important thing straight in the beginning. You don't have to worry about the relationship with Caleb in the story, and I'll explain why. First, the age at adoption. They have always been aware that they are not biological siblings. MC was adopted at the age of 7. If you feel like 7 sounds young, 7 years old is like either 1st or 2nd grade. You can try to think back to a memory from when you were 7, or think about a 7 year old you personally know. At that age, we are already able to have memory and understand different relationships. Siblings, cousins, classmates, friends, etc. The idea of growing up together caused people to assume as if MC was adopted as a baby or toddler. But if you pay attention to the plot and information, it's easy to tell that MC had never mistaken Caleb as a brother. Second, a subtle yet crucial factor, surnames. The characters don't have surnames in the English version. However, everyone including love interests and NPCs like Jenna all have surnames in the original version, which is the Chinese version. You, Caleb, and Grandma all have different surnames. Caleb is called Xia Yi Zhou. Xia is not a common surname in real life. If you feel like you've seen this surname quite often, it's indeed common among fictional characters. It is such a beautiful surname, literally meaning summer. Okay, but in the English version, it turns out that you are the only one with a surname, which was to enter at the beginning of the game. Surnames are important information that reminds us we came from different family all this time, very subconsciously yet effectively. And again, a 7 year old is old enough to know what a surname is. I can't stress this factor enough because even I have missed this initially until I start gathering information for this video. This is a key factor so obvious and direct you underestimated, or just were missing after translation even. There, the title in Mandarin. The titles Baba Jiji are literally older brother sister, but don't necessarily mean biological siblings. This can be used on people who are slightly older than you. In English, this is not the case, so they translated his description as a childhood friend in the note. In a Mandarin speaking environment, these are titles indicating a sense of respect, age sequence, and closeness, which is indeed the case for MC as she has always known they are not related. Google Zizi are titles that represent respect and closeness, and possibly a way for a speaker to act cute and show dependence, which can be used between lovers as well. I don't know if you've seen this in romance dramas. By the way, the nickname VHR also allows you to have them call you Zizi if you see the game and voice over in Chinese. 让我叫姐姐。你确定吗? <laughs> 听吧。姐姐。Words, the strategy and approach, the following is more of a speculation. This game has a very detailed strategy, both the schedule and the plot have been meticulously calculated. The global release, the choices of skin color, and the childhood friend of the localization all show their ambition for the international target demographic. Info probably had doubt about how to make the characters and players fall in love, and for things to go reasonably, more than all of us. According to the habit of info, previous games like Love Nikki, Mr. Love Queen's Choice, and Shining Nikki all have plot twists that blew the players' minds. Caleb's new introduction will likely also be huge and impressive, and has been carefully planned, possibly changing your understanding of him even. And a possibility of past life, just like the other four love interests, Caleb's bonds with us have probably started in the past life. Although it's just a speculation, there might be something like this in the future that will explain a lot. So my conclusion is, don't worry too much, just keep your mind easy. And it is totally fine, actually very reasonable, if you don't feel romantically with every one of them, for any reason. That's why we have multiple love interests in this game. And the most important thing is that we can all enjoy this game lightheartedly. I just hope this video helps and gives some information. And we will get to know more when Caleb and his story are officially released. And what do you think of Caleb and him coming up as a love interest in the future? You can share it with me in the comments section. And let's wait for him together.